Do you believe that the job you are doing now could soon be completely replaced by robots in the future? If you are a doctor, the world already has robots that can perform surgery and medical examinations. If you are a chef, we already have robots that can cook. If you are a factory worker, robots have long been capable of doing similar production tasks. However, the truth is that most of us fail to recognize this rapid development and still look down on or mock what we call humanoid robots. Elon Musk actually welcomes people's underestimation and complacency because that is exactly what motivates him to create machines, cars, and robots that shock the world, clearly setting them apart from what the rest of the world, especially China, is doing. Given Tesla's limited progress updates, most of us are misled into thinking that the Tesla bot Optimus is still stuck in the factory, while the Unitree G1 is already showing off skills in boxing matches, playing table tennis, and maneuvering across various terrains. This has led many to believe that Tesla is falling behind these Chinese robots. However, few people realize that Tesla has actually been focusing on perfecting Optimus Gen 3, which is set to be unveiled later this year. This version comes with upgrades that the Unitree G1 may need several more years to catch up with. Optimus Gen 3 will be centered on expanding the useful tasks it can perform, most notably its highly impressive household capabilities, including cooking and cleaning, which are far superior to the current version. Even more remarkable, Optimus will feature an upgraded battery life, just two hours of charging for 22 hours of continuous work. Of course, its price will no longer be $20,000. So is the Tesla bot Optimus Gen 3, the humanoid robot that will change the world? And when will the company begin selling it? Let's find out now. Why is the world racing to build humanoid robots? And why is Elon Musk pouring tens of billions of dollars into developing the Tesla bot? In our view, the biggest reason is the enormous profit these robots could generate. Of course, to achieve such massive profits, there must also be equally massive demand, potentially billions of people wanting to own them. And naturally, people are only willing to pay for machines that are genuinely useful. That's why, instead of constantly showing off impractical and somewhat silly demonstrations like Chinese robots often do, Tesla has chosen to quietly expand the useful capabilities of Optimus within its factories. All focus is now being poured into Tesla Bot Gen 3, gearing up for its launch this November. You know, but a C-3PO plus R2-D2 plus, you know, plus plus. Um, it would be pretty awesome. Uh, I, think, I think everyone in the world is going to want one. To understand why Optimus Gen 3 is such a turning point, let's look back at the journey of the Tesla Bot. First announced at AI Day 2021, Musk's idea of a humanoid robot was mocked as nothing more than tech cosplay a person in a robot suit dancing on stage. But just a year later, at AI Day 2022, Tesla revealed a real prototype, though still clumsy. By the end of 2023 with Gen 2, the robot had already improved, walking 30% faster, folding clothes, holding an egg without breaking it, and even dancing smoothly. In 2024, Optimus began working inside Tesla factories, taking on tasks such as sorting batteries and supporting production. This year, most of Optimus's training has been focused on practical value, useful tasks both in factories and in households. And next year, it is expected to handle an even wider range of surprising tasks. Probably not next year, but like in 2026, it's, it's really the kind of thing where you, you could tell it to do kind of a, a wide range of tasks. You can imagine like your own personal robot buddy uh, that is uh, a great friend, but also takes care of uh, your house, will we'll clean your house, will mow the lawn, uh, will walk the dog, um, will teach your kids, uh, will we'll babysit, um, and, and, and will also, also enable the production of goods and services. Imagine having a weekend without the stress of wondering, what should I clean first today? Because Optimus has already taken care of everything automatically. The Tesla bot is proving that it is no longer just a prototype, but is moving closer to becoming a true all-around assistant in real life, even before reaching its premium versions. Even at Gen 2, Optimus demonstrated the ability to handle a range of basic yet impressive tasks, enough to establish its role as a household helper. Pick up the trash bag, open the lid, place the bag in the bin, clean the table, tear a paper towel from a roll, stir the pot, use the vacuum to clean the floor, open the cabinet, and close the curtain. Before that, it had already impressed with more complex actions, such as checking packages, serving drinks, folding clothes, cleaning the kitchen, watering plants, opening a car trunk to retrieve items, even joining family games, dancing, and answering random questions. 
While most of these are still basic tasks, considering the Tesla bot is less than two years old, Tesla has already made remarkable progress in a short time. But instead of expanding the number of tasks for the Gen 2 version, Elon Musk has chosen a bolder path, introducing Optimus Gen 3, redesigned with upgraded hardware for optimized speed, a 22 degree of freedom hand, an OLED display from Samsung, a larger battery pack, and integrated Grok voice capabilities. With Optimus Gen 3, the number of tasks has not only increased but also expanded in complexity, most notably, its ability to cook. Sounds like a joke, right? We didn't believe it either. The idea of a robot cooking once seemed silly and far-fetched, yet this is precisely the breakthrough Tesla is pursuing. Optimus Gen 3 is the only version capable of learning directly from video. It simply needs to watch a video and can pick up new skills remarkably fast, often from the very first observation. Unlike the human brain, which can forget, the robot's brain never loses data. It can watch a cooking video and memorize the recipe in just a few minutes. If Optimus can, can watch videos, uh, you know, YouTube videos or how-to videos or whatever, and based on that video, just like a human can, uh, learn how to do that thing, then you, 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 you really have uh, task extensibility that is dramatic, because then you, it, it can learn anything very quickly. Tesla has confirmed that Optimus can receive commands not only through voice, but also by analyzing facial expressions and user gestures to infer the intended action. For example, if you simply point to a pile of dirty dishes in the kitchen, Optimus will automatically understand that it needs to wash them. Of course, for more complex tasks such as cooking or dishwashing, only Optimus Gen 3 is truly capable. We often come across very practical questions about the Tesla bot Optimus such as, will it know to wash its hands after cleaning? Although Elon Musk has not directly answered this question, from our perspective it is entirely possible. Tesla has equipped the robot with an extremely sophisticated AI system capable of analyzing both the work context and its own condition after each task. By processing real-time data from tactile and environmental sensors, Optimus can determine whether its hands are clean or have become dirty. In other words, Optimus doesn't just follow commands mechanically, it also understands context and surrounding conditions. For example, after handling trash or wiping down a dirty surface, the system will automatically trigger a hand cleaning routine before the robot touches clean items. Or in a much simpler way, you can just tell it directly, almost like you would with children. Hey Optimus, go wash your hands. Tesla has trained this capability from the very beginning, treating it as a foundation for both safety and practical usability. After all, if a robot cannot understand its tasks and environment, it wouldn't just be inefficient, it could even become a hazard in daily life. Just imagine a robot finishing bathroom cleaning and immediately grabbing your food without washing its hands. Nobody would want to buy Optimus if it behaved like that. For Optimus Gen 3, Tesla has also slightly increased the battery capacity from 2.3 kilowatt hours to 3.3 kilowatt hours. This is because Gen 3 consumes more power than before. It now has an OLED display, Grok voice integration, and improved mobility, all of which demand more energy. So how is it still able to run for up to 22 hours a day? An important point to clarify right from the start 22 hours does not mean that a battery pack can run continuously for 22 hours. No robot can do that. With a full charge in one hour, Optimus can operate for 8 to 11 hours. When the battery is low, Optimus automatically connects to the charger to store enough energy for the next shift. Tasks that require continuous movement, such as vacuuming an entire house, mopping large floor areas, or carrying loads, will consume more energy. The truth is, Optimus Gen 3 has solved a significant challenge. Building a separate navigation map for each terrain and work environment, homes are not like fixed industrial production lines. Each room, corner, and piece of furniture is unique and not fixed in place. It would be quite funny if a robot could enter the kitchen but couldn't get out, or go upstairs but couldn't come back down. That's why the AI system in Optimus Gen 3 is trained through neural networks and sim to real technology, allowing it to learn from first-person human perspective videos and quickly adapt to new situations. For example, if it detects a stain on the kitchen countertop, the robot can adjust to focus on cleaning that area instead of parts that are already clean. Its visual sensors and cameras allow Optimus to build a 3D map of the home, move accurately between rooms, and avoid obstacles such as pets, children, and power cords. A perspective less often mentioned by Musk is the potential to turn Optimus into a profitable labor source. With a projected price under $20,000,
and the ability to work continuously, potentially generating around $2,000 per month in income, Optimus could pay for itself in less than a year. After that, the robot would continue to deliver long-term profits for its owner. Morgan Stanley even estimates that an Optimus could be worth as much as $200,000 in net value when replacing human labor. This points to the emergence of a robot economy, where millions of Optimus units could participate in manufacturing, services, logistics, and retail, reducing labor costs and boosting productivity across society. This is not just an economic opportunity for individuals, but a systemic turning point. Of course, the biggest concern is that robots will take away jobs. However, history shows that such fears are often exaggerated. The introduction of ATMs once sparked worries that countless bank employees would lose their jobs. Yet in reality, the number of branches and staff increased due to lower operating costs. With Optimus, a similar scenario could unfold. Rather than eliminating jobs, robots could create an ecosystem of new professions such as robot training, maintenance, supervision, AI programming, or human-machine interface design. People would gradually move away from physically demanding and hazardous work toward roles requiring creativity, emotional intelligence, and social skills, areas machines are still unable to fully replace. This represents a shift from a labor-intensive economy to a knowledge-based economy. Another field with revolutionary potential is healthcare. With rapidly aging populations by 2050, over 16% of the global population is expected to be over 65, the world will face a severe shortage of medical personnel. Optimus could become an essential solution, delivering medication, assisting patient mobility, measuring blood pressure, recording vital signs, and even detecting early warning signs through AI. Robots don't get tired, are unaffected by emotions, and can work continuously during long shifts. While legal and ethical barriers remain, this potential cannot be ignored as it addresses one of the 21st century's most pressing challenges. Beyond healthcare, Optimus could also play a significant role in security. With full-body sensors and cameras, the robot has 360-degree vision, something even humans or fixed cameras cannot achieve. It can patrol, detect unusual behavior, send instant alerts, and even coordinate with smart home systems to lock doors, trigger alarms, or guide occupants to safety. In a world with growing security demands, Optimus could become a tireless steel guardian, operating 24-7. A less discussed but extremely important aspect is disaster rescue. With its flexible structure, water and heat resistance, and powerful AI, Optimus could assist in searching for survivors in earthquakes, floods, or wildfires. It could deliver medical supplies, clear debris, and access chemically or radiologically hazardous areas, places where humans cannot safely go. Here, the robot doesn't replace humans, but acts as a supportive teammate, helping minimize casualties in the most dangerous situations. Finally, Optimus's strategic value lies within Tesla's own factories. Unlike fixed industrial robots, Optimus can move freely, recognize objects, and perform complex tasks like a trained human worker. It can handle multiple assembly, inspection, and transport processes, reducing production costs, minimizing errors, and accelerating throughput. If deployed widely, Tesla could completely reshape its production lines. Instead of static conveyors, hundreds of mobile robots could operate flexibly like a team of engineers. This could be the key for Tesla to achieve its goal of producing affordable electric vehicles. Two years ago, the humanoid robot scene was dominated by a duel between TeslaBot and Boston Dynamics Atlas. But today, it's a different story. The field has exploded into a global tech arms race, with giants from North America to China diving in. Of course, it wouldn't be fair to claim that Tesla currently has the most advanced robot. But one thing is undeniable. Optimus is the name with the greatest potential to bring real change to human life. Yes, you may see Optimus moving somewhat slowly, and not yet as agile as expected. But this isn't a limitation. It's a natural stage while the hardware is still being refined. Behind every seemingly awkward step are millions of lines of code, hundreds of control algorithms, and countless hours of rigorous research. The important thing to understand, the robot isn't imperfect because of mistakes, but because the nature of all breakthrough technologies is to start modestly. If we expect a robot to be a perfect product from day one, we are bound to be disappointed. But if we see Optimus as an evolving journey, every small step forward carries historical value. 
This is also why Musk calls Optimus the most important product in Tesla's history. Far beyond being just a household assistant, Optimus is envisioned to revolutionize labor, from factories and hospitals to individual kitchens, while opening entirely new business models. With the ability to work 24-7, with precision, endurance, and continuous learning, Optimus could cut production costs by 20 to 30 percent productivity, and even generate millions of job opportunities through services like Robot On Demand. You might ask, why could the actual price of Optimus reach $80,000 or even $100,000? The simple answer, a humanoid robot isn't just a tech device, it's a virtual worker, an entity capable of generating tens of thousands of dollars in value annually by working tirelessly, without taking vacation, and without being affected by illness. Repetitive, time-consuming tasks, such as cleaning, warehouse management, or production support, can all be delegated to Optimus. Compared to traditional labor costs or the value of time it saves, even a price of $80,000 is an incredible bargain. Tesla had set a goal to produce 5,000 units of Optimus by the end of 2025. However, reality has proven more challenging than expected. Technical issues have caused delays, and Elon Musk himself admitted that nearly every component in Optimus had to be redesigned and rebuilt from scratch. This highlights just how heavily Tesla has invested in developing this humanoid robot. However, things now seem to be gradually stabilizing, and they are expected to deliver the first robots next year. If you had an Optimus, what would be the first thing you'd ask it to do? Do you think robots like Optimus will create more jobs or take jobs away? Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed learning about Optimus and the future of humanoid robots, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Which feature of Optimus excites you the most? Comment below. We'd love to hear your thoughts.